There are a variety of training munitions and simulators available for CBR and nuclear defense training purposes. Most commonly used are the smoke and CS grenades. The M7A series burning type CS grenade can be effective in training as a simulant for non-persistent chemical agents. CS grenades can be thrown, emplaced as booby traps, or integrated with smoke pox. Because of the physiological effects of the CS, it causes personnel to take protective action. Smoke grenades are available in four colors. They may be either thrown or used in booby traps. Smoke grenades may be functioned in various ways, including the use of trip wires. The ANM8HC smoke grenade may be used in the same way as the colored smoke grenades. You must remember, however, that these grenades burn at a high temperature and can easily cause fires. This is the M5 30-pound HC smoke pot. These items can be stacked to obtain longer burning time. When manually firing the smoke pot, be sure to observe the following safety measures. Keep your head to one side, then stand back to avoid flying sparks. In a heavy smoke concentration, wear a protective mask and always place the pot carefully to avoid fires. Turning the pot upside down helps to prevent fires. This also helps to keep the smoke down close to the ground. In training, the M1 chemical land mines are used to set up simulated chemical minefields. The mines are filled with non-toxic molasses, residium, and when detonated, will illustrate the problems encountered when operating in a contaminated area. This area is thoroughly contaminated by the landmines and should be easily recognized. Although not a training munition, this chemical agent detector ticket simulator M5 is a valuable training item. With this, chemical detection parties can be evaluated and unit reaction to a contaminated environment can be tested. This is an atomic explosion simulator which will simulate a five kiloton nuclear burst. It comes packed, ready for use. The 150 feet upwind safety distance must always be observed. The atomic explosion simulator may be used to test unit reaction during and following nuclear attack, including NBC reporting. The 75 foot diameter, 130 foot mushroom cloud will last for one and one-half minutes in five-knot winds. 